Alright guys, I'm excited to show you my newest Sunflowerless Cobbler setup. But before we start, this setup is heavily inspired by none other than Scaffold himself. I'm gonna leave a link to his version in the description below, so make sure to go check on him. Now to this build. I didn't know Sunflower Cobbles from back in the day. To no one other surprise though, this wasn't entirely jackproof. So this setup really, like, wouldn't truly last endlessly because eventually it would just run out of luck and die to the jacks. Well, let me introduce to you this new and improved version. Well, at the first glance, you might say that this version isn't really jack in a box proof either, but I've made my homework and tested it, and here are the results. Compared to Scaffold's version, this one runs Starfruit, and the reason for that is to increase our damage per second input so the Giga Gigantuals would die quicker. We also got two Starfruits in the far back, just to assist our Gloomshrims a little, so the need to repair your pumpkins becomes reduced by a small bit. We run two Cattails in the front to kill off any Balloon Zombies, and it is important to have them in the fronts uh, and not in the back, since the travel time for the spikes becomes too long, so the Balloon Zombies would just land on top of your Gloomshrims. We're also maxing out on lanes 2 and 5 with winter melons and a fume shroom. And by the way, the fume shroom is very important here. I've tried this build with a winter melon instead of the fume shrooms in lanes 2 and 5, and the jacks ended up exploding. With this one fume shroom, it will be exactly enough to shut off any jack in the box explosions, while the four winter melons will take care of the Gigi Gigantuous. The only things you need to spend your suns on are repairing your pumpkin shells, using ice shrooms whenever bungee zombies appear, and using your sun shrooms, scaredy shrooms or flower pots occasionally to control those giga gigantuous. 
Some bonies and amber zombies are completely shut off for this build, and also don't be so greedy like I am. And also use your instas more often. Don't be afraid to lose sun against Giga Gigantua waves, since you will gain a lot of sun against most other waves back. In this gameplay footage here, I was kinda sweating and managed to break even without a sun loss. Also, I think adding the star fruits over more cattails is way better since first of all, cattails aren't really smart and would just try to target those imps in the bag and second of all, the target finding in this game just takes up way too much time, so when targeting for a new zombie, there will be a lot of wasted shots from cattails. Now this setup made me really excited to make a no sunflower no carb cannon livestream and try to get to at least flag 100 with that challenge. You should let me know if you'd like to see something like that in the comments below and I'll be looking at you guys' responses. Okay, this wraps up today's amazing strategy. Again, I'd be happy to know what you guys think about the live stream with this challenge and whether or not it appeals to you. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and take care.